extremely difficult situation because different parameters play uh, in this game. Um, if you look at the first six months, we had a reduction of around 5.5% on the total volumes. Also on the China trade, it was around minus 6%. Um, but it's not all uh, doom and gloom. If you compare us to the other ports with whom we compete, then we even gained 1% point uh, of market share. But still, okay, we are confronted with a decline of 5.5% in volumes. Um, so, well, if you look at the causes, that helps you to understand what the future uh, might bring. We are, of course, in a very difficult geopolitical situation. Um, yeah, the, the invasion of Russia into Ukraine uh, is, is an important element in, in building trust and confidence for, for consumers all over Europe. Uh, it has a tremendous impact on the energy prices, if you bring these things together. This uncertainty is not good for international trade. So. Um, if we look at the figures, the second quarter was already better than the first quarter, so that's a positive sign. Uh, for us, the support of Antwerp Bruges gaining 1% market share is a positive element, so let's not all be negative. Um, but it will highly depend on what happens in, uh, in, the, in the energy market. Uh, and it will, of course, uh, rely to a big part on, on what's going to happen in Ukraine. Uh, is that going to escalate further or is it going to calm down? Are we coming to a solution? So that these are very uncertain elements. Uh, and, and why do I stress this? Because it has such an impact on the energy prices. Mm -hmm. And if you look on this part of Europe, especially the port of Antwerp Bruges, the chemical sector is very important to us. And uh, to remain competitive as chemical sector in Europe, against the chemical complexes around the world, the price of energy is an important component. Uh, and so the price of energy, which then relates a bit to the confidence in the whole, in the whole European scene, uh, that will, uh, to a large extent, uh, define whether we, we, we will see further growth or whether we'll see a decline in the chemical production in this part of the world. So plenty of uncertainty still for Absolutely. the rest of the year. Absolutely. You mentioned geopolitics there. Are you, I was wondering whether you have felt any sort of pressure from European politicians to reduce the importance that China has for this port. Um, well, let me say, first of all, we are port, we are the port authority, but we do not make policy. Huh? So mm -hmm. we, of course, have to comply with policy. And we fully want to comply with, the, evidently, with the EU and Belgian legislation. Um, and what we as, as a port, and I think it, it, it basically the same thing for any organization, whether it's a private or a public, nobody likes to rely too much on one player, huh? whether it's a supplier or a customer, nobody wants to be too dependent on one. And we have, especially in COVID period, we have seen that um, yeah, a lot of the industries and consumption relies largely on production in China. If you add to that the whole disruptions we had in the supply chains, then we were really confronted with, uh, with the need to rethink uh, our dependence. 